And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron, for as much as iron breaketh in pieces and subdueth all things. And as iron that breaketh all these shall it break in pieces and bruise. And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of potter's clay and part of iron, the kingdom shall be divided, but there shall be in it of the strength of the iron, for as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay. And as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. For as much as thou sawest that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands, and that it break in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, the silver, and the gold, the great God hath made known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter. And the dream is certain, and the interpretation thereof sure." And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron, for as much as iron breaketh in pieces and subdueth all things. And as iron that breaketh all these shall it break in pieces and bruise. And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of potter's clay and part of iron, the kingdom shall be divided, but there shall be in it of the strength of the iron, for as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay. And as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. For as much as thou sawest that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands, and that it break in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, the silver, and the gold, the great God hath made known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter. And the dream is certain, and the interpretation thereof sure. Then the king Nebuchadnezzar fell upon his face and worshipped Daniel, and commanded that they should offer an oblation and sweet odors unto him. The king answered unto Daniel and said, of a truth it is that your God is a God of gods, and a Lord of kings, and a revealer of secrets, seeing thou couldst reveal this secret. Then the king made Daniel a great man, and gave him many great gifts, and made him ruler over the whole province of Babylon, and chief of the governors over all the wise men of Babylon. Then Daniel requested of the king, and he set Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego over the affairs of the province of Babylon, but Daniel sat in the gate of the king. The Greek government is pressing ahead with austerity having approved more public sector job cuts, struggling to please its international lenders. And that's despite a massive general strike and thousand strong rallies bringing public services to a standstill earlier this week. To secure its next bailout tranche, Athens will have to redeploy or ax 25,000 civil servants. Well, under a bill passed earlier this week, around 4,000 state employees will lose their jobs by the end of this year. And up to 1,000 workers are being fired in Greece every day. It's according to a recent service by the Hellenic Statistical Authority show. Uh, since 2009, unemployment has skyrocketed from a little over 9% to almost 27%. And Greece's GDP has plunged by almost 100 billion euros. Artisa Gorpiskunov has been on the streets of Athens talking to protesters. Protected by law since the 19th century, public workers are still considered to be the foundation of the Greek economy. But its creditors have demanded that the government cuts up to 25,000 public jobs before the end of this year. Otherwise, Greece is not going to get its latest financial aid package worth over 6 billion euros. So doctors, teachers, security guards, municipal police, public transport drivers and others have all gone on strike and gathered at the country's parliament in Athens to fight for their jobs. It's just the beginning. They have in mind to destroy every public service in Greece. We need teachers, we need uh, people in the health uh, sec sector, we need people for the garbage, for everything. For the past six years, the Greek economy has been in recession. Unemployment is at 27%. But there are many of those who do work officially but haven't seen their salaries in months. 
two out of three graduates aren't able to find a job. There's a rise uh, of drug addicts and the homeless, including those with a higher education and decades worth of work experience. But the general feeling on the street is not only the government, which is to blame for the situation. We have uh, people unemployment in the private sector, people unemployment now in the, in, in the public sector for the, uh, for the first time. So that which is needed is a new policy, new policy not only in Greece, but new policy in, 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 in the European uh, Union, uh, new policy in Eurozone. No matter what happens next, labor unions and youth organizations say they're not going to back down until the Troika and Brussels especially realizes it's not only about adding or subtracting numbers, but about the real lives of real people. Igor Peskunov, RT, Athens, Greece. And uh, all praises to Yahweh Basham Yahweh the bonds to the elders of GMS. Um, this is part three to my paper I destroyed for lack of knowledge. Like I said, I'm gonna keep I'm just keep on you know doing videos and uh, on this series because you know niggas don't know or neither do they care what's going on in the world, man. And um, they don't care about the prophecies in the Bible, although we're out there day in and day out, um, week in, week out, teaching them what's going on in the world and how it relates to the to the scriptures. They don't give a shit. So when when this comes upon them as a thief in the night, like Yahweh Shai said, they're gonna be all surprised and scared, and then they're gonna want to get down, but it's gonna be too late. Now, you know, you heard this reporter here uh, talk about Greece, how um, unemployment in Greece right now is up to 20, 27%. And um, about 1,000 employees are laid off per day. That's where they're at, man. That's why you see all these people on the street protesting. And, you know, they're, they pretty much had enough. And... You know, uh, a, a lot of these people had, you know, pensions, and um, they had like, uh, you know, like 401k plans and things of that nature with certain companies in Greece and Athens that were taken away from them, man. You know, um, civil servants, people working for the state, are being asked to work for free. Now, who, who in the hell in their right mind? will work for free. That's that's you know that's that's ridiculous. That's crazy. You know? Now these things are happening in Greece is uh that that's prophecy, you know? You know, um you know I, I brought out in Daniels, you know, dealing with the uh dealing with the image that Nebuchadnezzar the vision that Nebuchadnezzar had. So this is part of that. This is part Greece is the is the clay in the toes of that image, of Nebuchadnezzar's image, you see? Whereas Germany is the iron, because Germany, uh, out of all these European nations, Germany uh, it, it still remains strong. So you know, this is uh, you know you have that terminology, pigs, uh, uh, the uh, acronym pigs, which stands for uh, Portugal, uh, Portugal, Italy, Ireland, Greece. In Spain, all right. That's the acronym: Portugal, Italy, Ireland, Greece, and Spain, because these are the nation, the uh, European nations. They are down with the European Union, who are suffering this austerity. All right. Now, pretty soon, this all this stuff is going to be coming to America. You know. Now, people are supposed to be out on the streets right now in America. That goes to show you how much uh, pe the Americans are so asleep to what's going on in the world, what's going on in the economy. And some people may know what's going on, but they don't want to do shit about it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, this is uh, Sakharan uh, from GMS uh, New York. And, um, you know, stay tuned for part four. Uh, on, on this uh, topic here, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. On my uh, Hang Esau and the Gallows page. Shalom.